Okay, so I wanted to do a video on how to homeschool. So I started off hearing people um, at church had been homeschooling. I never heard of it. I'm like, what in the world are you talking about? So um, I had gotten some books. This was one of them later on. And it's neat because it goes through um, what your kids should know at each you know, level. There's some back um, information about, you know, their philosophy. And everyone has a philosophy, every curriculum. And it should match up with your lifestyle. I mean, I went from very traditional being in the public schools to um, more eclectic to more unschooling. So... I've tried like um, a few other methods um, that I didn't really care for too. So just get the books. I did like John Holt's view on education. I liked the history of Horace Mann and how the school system started. And it was for um, people who worked in the factories. And we don't have people doing that anymore. So why would we still have the education system that we do? Um, yeah, I guess I have two copies of this. Okay, so the unschooled mine I thought was really good. Um, motivating your kids how to read, I would recommend um, Charlotte Mason. I have her book somewhere here. Um, if you don't have a reader, don't worry about it. I did not really read much in school and I graduated early. I mean, I don't remember picking up books except what was assigned. But later on, once I had my firstborn, trying to learn for me how to be a mother, wanting to um, be the best mom I could be, I picked up books and could not stop, starting with motherhood into the homeschooling. Um, yeah, I like being kind of natural. Mary Pride has a lot of good stuff. Um, she's received some criticism for being a little bit unbalanced in her Christian views, but I have liked her educational stuff. And then Kathy Duffy here. She's also very good. So if you want to um, teach your kid how to read um, or the best approach, each kid is individual. And I know for me, I was at the library a lot with my kids. And I just assigned them books at the library for their school. And then as they got older, you know, just having books around, just always... Um, reading on how to motivate them. I think sinking your kids into certain subjects helps motivate them too. And again, they read when they want to read. So don't, don't worry about it, you know, other than what you need to learn. And don't worry about the extra reading too much. They'll pick it up. And a lot of times you can read to them when they're little. And then that, um, as you teach them to read, will help them to read. And, you know, even the Moors, Raymond and Dorothy Moore said, don't teach them to read until later. Let them enjoy nature and outside. Um, so as they get older and in their teen years, they decide kind of what they want to read and what their interests are. And, you know, reading is all around us at the grocery store, the signs on the road, in order to bicycle, you have to read. You have to read everywhere in life. So I wouldn't worry about that too much.